Good day, everyone. This is a presentation all about Dorothea Oram and her theory. This is presented by me, Jana Insugo, and my groupmates Ia Admilau and Azurim Fosgate. Agenda. First, to know the background of Dorothea Oram. Two, to tackle what her theory is. And three, to know the different assumptions in relation to the four concepts in the nursing paradigm. Who is Dorothea E. Oram? We will get to know more about her in the succeeding slides. Dorothea Oram was born on July 15, 1914 in Baltimore, Maryland. Her parents were Adelaide and Benjamin Oram. Her father was a construction worker, whereas her mother was a housewife. She was the youngest of two daughters and began her nursing career at Providence Hospital School of Nursing in Washington, D.C., where she received her Diploma of Nursing in the early 1930s. Oram received a Bachelor of Science in Nursing Education from Catholic University of America in 1939, and she received a Master's in Science in Nursing Education from the same university in 1946. She first published her concept of self-care in 1959, Guides for Developing Curricula for the Education of Practical Nurses. Timeline and Achievements After receiving her Bachelor of Science, Oram held directorship at Providence Hospital in Detroit from 1940 to 1949. She then moved to Indiana to work in the Indiana State Board and Health from 1949 to 1957. Later on, Oren took a job as a curriculum consultant in Washington, D.C. in 1957. Dorothea then became an assistant professor of nursing education in CUA from 1958 to 1960. And around the 70s and 80s, she began her own consulting firm and developed the self-care deficit nursing theory. Awards Catholic University of America Alumni Achievement Award for Nursing Theory in 1980 Linda Richards Award from the National League for Nursing in 1991 and Honorary Fellow of the American Academy of Nursing in 1992 on this slide, I'd like to introduce Dorothea Oram's theory and self-care deficit. Self-care deficit is described as the inability to perform certain daily functions related to health and well-being. Self-care deficits can arise from physical or mental impairments such as surgery, recovery, depression, or age-related mobility issues. Nurses play an important role when it comes to addressing self-care deficits through assessment and intervention. Basically, this whole theory focuses on each individual's ability to perform self-care, defined as the practice of activities that individuals initiate and perform on their own behalf in maintaining life, health, and well-being. The self-care deficit nursing theory is a general theory composed of the following four related theories. One of the theories is theory of self-care, which describes why and how people care for themselves. The next is theory of dependent care, which explains how family members or friends provide dependent care for a person who is socially dependent. The next would be the theory of self-care deficient which describes and explains why people can be helped through nursing. The last one would be theory of nursing system, which describes and explains relationships that must be brought about and maintained for nursing to be produced. Lastly, the assumptions to nursing meta paradigm. First is nursing. Nursing in the self-care deficit theory is defined as an art through which the practitioner of nursing gives specialized assistance to persons with disabilities, making more than ordinary assistance necessary to meet self-care needs. The nurse also intelligently participates in the medical care the individual receives from the physician. Second is patient. 
Patient, on the other hand, is described as the people cared for, either singly or as social units, and are the material object of nurses, and others who provide care. Third is environment. Environment is defined as physical, chemical, and biological characteristics. Lastly, health which is structurally and functionally whole or sound. A human health has the capacity to reflect on oneself, signify experience, and communicate to others. Also, health is a state that surrounds the health of individuals and groups. Thank you for listening.